This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We've reached the end of our journey. The sun is nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, a dilapidated and overgrown, sits atop a hill on the outskirts of the city, a somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain continues unabated and lightning appears over the mountains, exposing the landscape in staccato pulses and stark flashes. You walk the gravel path to the gates of the cemetery. Up ahead you see Coyote and Jake standing by the gravesite, along with Jessica Watts and another mourner. A beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Whatever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the answers lie here, with the reinterred body, a reinterred body of Melinda Watts. Recently, the deceased body of Sam. With those attending the ceremony. Let's do this fucking thing. Um, I do not need to load my game. I'm going to try here. Uh, confirm. That's fine. I don't know. The menus sometimes get tangled up like that. I don't really know. Um, cancel that for now. Don't load the game. Now we can go do karma. Let's boost up our weapon skills because this is not going to be, you know, not going to be play pretty. All right. Let's do, oh, let's do some more dodge. That seems good. And then can I make my guns better? Quickness. Ooh, if I don't do that, I can get another... Oh, I can't. Never mind. All right, well, then that's it. I am pure guns and ammo. The mourners stand graveside, listening to Catholic priests' words of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as her family is laid to rest. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, Lord receives the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever at your side. Amen. Thank you, Father. I know that my mother rests easier now that she's finally in the parish cemetery. I'm sorry for your recent loss of your brother, but I am glad that re-entering your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loved this parish, too. She opens her hand to the elf standing across from her. Thanks you for coming, Lynn. Your support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. The woman is, class is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, and expensively dressed. Of course I am. I'm glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put this all behind you now. Jessica speaks to the rest of you. Thank you all for coming. I didn't realize Sam had so many friends. I appreciate your support and friendship with Sam. I saw him out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. I wish this guy had a bigger part in the story. He's kind of a goon. Sam may have had his problems, but he was one of our friends, part of the Union family. May you rest in peace. Miss Watts, family members and friends, thank you for attending the service. I suggest you don't linger long. The cemetery isn't safe after dark. Well, isn't that pleasant? Thank you, Father. We'll just be a moment. Um, yeah, Mrs. Watts, this isn't the best time. Very well, let's, but let's not keep Father O'Malley. Thank you, child. Feel free to call on me as soon as you need. The priest clutches his Bible to his chest and then turns toward the neighboring church. All right, you can go. You fuck, where are you ladies going? Oh, I can follow. My bad. Alright, let's do this thing. Father Miley leaves, granting you the opportunity to speak with Jessica, but it's hardly a private conversation, as the elf Lynn has chosen to stay and support her friend. As it so happens, Jake and Coyote have lin lingered, lending support to you, too. Alright, what would you like to talk about, Mac? Midnight talk a little bit more about your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? Jessica's demeanor turns oddly cool and stony in response to such a question. I'm, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Then can you explain how her body parts made it their way into half a dozen recipients? You don't know what you're talking about. I know Sam helped your mother save lives through that donation. Her jaw cleanses. She wasn't a donor. She was a victim. A victim of my brother's greed. He took from her, desecrating her body, all to benefit himself. She never would have agreed to such a thing. Not even to save the lives of others like Sam's? Cracks are starting to appear on Jessica's carefully crafted face. Sam destroyed his own liver, pursuing oblivion. That was his choice. Your mother's gift met a sense of second chance. It wasn't a gift. It was stolen. And I wasn't a about to let him destroy what little remained of her vulgar with his vulgar appetites. So you hired Holmes to get it back? Jessica's eyes burn with righteous anger. Gone are attempts to any, or any attempts to hide her guilt. Dr. Holmes made my mother whole again. He made her possible, or made it possible for me to lay her to place, her to rest, and say goodbye. He killed Sam, 
and half a dozen other people whose lives had been saved by your mother. She snaps. Those people were scavengers, ghouls. They deserved to die for desecrating my mother's body. See, I knew I hated this lady. Oh, po and poor Sam, he was drinking his debauchery that drove my mother to the grave. As sure as he had murdered her himself. My mother f deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. Those ghouls who stole her organs, uh, organs, including Sam, have paid the price for their sins. Beautiful elf breaks in. Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. My old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't taint my new family now. You can't cor they can't corrupt my children. I'll never go through that again. Jessica, we need to go. She presses a button on her comm link. Hell no. Uh, what happens now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you, McCluskey could have eventually found Holmes and collected his lieutenant's badge. Close the case, but you had to keep digging. Now your friends, you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. You're going to fight me? You're going to fight me. No. No, nah, lady, no. Nah. Where's my... Oh, whatever. Only three, no problem. Wh no, where the fuck are you going, woman? Get your ass back. What? God damn it. They're not neutral. <sighs> Alright, we'll get them. Get to cover. Aim. I could really care less about shooting up this woman's fucking bodyguards. If I could just. Uh, da -da. Hey Jake, you wanna shoot some mans for me? Good work. Yeah! Guess what I have? A shotgun. Shotguns in this game are amazing. <laughs> Jake's just back there. I'ma shoot all of you, just hold on. Give me 45 minutes. I'm just one shot at a time. B move in. Oh, more of them. Maybe find Sam's sister might have gone. Maybe one of these guys can tell us with a little bit of encouragement. You know what? That seems like a good plan. Coyote, come on. Coyote, come on. He's right there. Takes me a little while. All right, why don't you run over here, Jake? Because then we won't die from all of those people right there. Except for me, I'll die, but you guys won't. Oh man, didn't hit shit. Jake, get your shit together. All right. Um, let's not deal with that first. Let's deal with this lady. Because if I can one hit kill this, god damn it. There. Then, I'm going to reload because I'm almost out of ammo. And then I'm going to switch my mode and do a little bit of... Yeah, let's just empty. Not bad. And then I can just do this. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's just like 
45 shots, and then one. Uh, all right, well, okay, guys. Shit. Some pretty heavy-duty damage there. Um... What the so many men. Alright, um Dude, I can reload and then do my little trick with the full auto. Right here. Alright, and you're gonna move over there next to that guy. And hopefully hit him again. Finish this there. No. Jake, you are about to die. So what we're gonna do is put you in this corner. And then we're looking at your healing stuff. You've got heal, that'll do heals all damage from the most recent attack. Oh that won't that won't help us for shit. Um you are any yeah, twenty HP. The problem is and I heal ten, I lose ten, so let's do this. Oh I can do both. Ooh. So I can... Yeah, that'll be good. That's better. Looks like we woke the neighbors. We've got ghouls incoming. Hey, Mac, we can use this to our advantage. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. That's what's gonna happen. Infection fight. Ouch. Oh my god. Book it. I don't want to fight ghouls right now. If that's okay with you. Yeah. Alright, dude, if you have a health kit, yeah, you're gonna heal up. I'm really glad we brought all our weapons to this funeral. It's really nice. Um. Can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna heal him anymore. We're just gonna. Do you have any other cool spells that we can use? Aim two, flamethrower. Let's do aim on me. And then let's call it good. This ghoul situation is not working to our advantage, Jake. Not in the least. They're all coming to kill us. There, one of them isn't friendly. Yes! Turn and fight them, turn and fight them. Alright, um... I wonder if this will own this guy. Nope, ghouls have a lot of health. Reload. Uh, Coyote, you wanna... Do a solid and keep Jake from dying? That would be nice of you. Alright, and then just shoot up that man. There we go. Good. We're almost there. Alright, so you can end your turn. You... Yeah, just, just sort of chill. That's cool. Scratch coming from the crypt. More ghouls. This fight is crazy. still oh yeah I do there we go no problem all right um maybe kill that one You can, he can reload his pistol for free. Wow, that's cool. Uh, 
Alright. Uh, you can take your shot. If No, you can't even take your shot. Never mind. Yeah, go get that guy. We're gonna go over there in a minute. It's not until we have to. I'm not being particularly interesting, but we're almost there. Oh, one of the ghouls bit it. Alright, you're gonna take that. And we're gonna move up and see what's going on over here. Mm -hmm. And then here we're gonna move up some more. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I forgot to put her gun back on. Oh god. All right, how about that flamethrower spell? Yeah, let's see what we can do with that. Is how much does it cost to shoot that lightning bolt? Well, ball lightning costs three. God damn it. All right, never mind. We're just not gonna do it. Just, Coyote, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Maybe we can kill the ghoul that's really badly hurt. Oh, it won't reload. Oh, okay. Oh, line of sight blocked. Okay. There, attack me, buddy. That's right. Jake, there has never been a better time than now for you to whip out that lightning ball. I'm gonna move over here. Get rid of this guy, perhaps. Yeah, no problem. All right, now get your no, Jake, get your spell out. Get your lightning ball. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Yeah. Nice! Now I'll just try to pick off some of these wounded ghouls here. Hopefully they'll die next round from ongoing damage, but apparently not. Alright. Talk to fucking Captain Infected. You listen as the sounds of gunfire and spells burst fade away. Sense of the dead returns to the cemetery. Man's beyond healing. You look down at him, you notice the quality of his suit and shoes. This isn't a runner. He's not from the street. Jessica Watts hired you. Where can I find her? You get nothing. He convulses and dies. We don't know each other too well, but it seems to me that you need to find a better group of people to associate with. You're not the first person to tell me that. Well, it's part of living in the shamos. shadows. Do the research, chummer. How did those troops materialize? You didn't recognize who that elf was? No, who was she? She's Lynn Telestrian. Super rich and super into the Universal Brotherhood. She's a major spokesperson for them in Seattle. Jake grabs the dead man by the throat. At first it looks like he's trying to kill them. Then you notice he's feeling something under the skin. He's got a corp ID chip. Watch as Jake pulls out his modified PDA and slots the chip. Mr. Wiley here was with Eagle Security. They work for the UB. They must be Lynn Celestian, Celestian security detail that we've just chewed through. If she's protecting Jessica, they'll be inside the Universal Brotherhood. I'm gonna hit the Universal Brotherhood. I'm coming too. Psycho just admitted she, she had my friend Sam and a lot of innocent people killed so she could put her dead mother back together. It's totally slagged up. Plus she and her elf buddy, just Lynn, just tried to geek me. They're gonna hurt for that. Suit yourself, lady. I was only stopping by to pay my respects to Sam. Merc hit squads, Universal Brotherhood, not my scene. Not at the moment. I can call up some of Delilah's runners if you want to go. There now, let me know what you decide. 
Yeah. I don't know, man. I thought this was over, man. I thought we, we killed the guy, we win. No such luck. Not that I'm complaining. Let's see if we can get... Headshot. I really want that. Um, I'll just save the rest of my karma then. I'm going to be the best rifleist there ever was. All right. Sam, come on. Rain's marks just like the ones that just attacked us for their security detail. You're going to need a full team if you're heading into their chapter house. I can arrange for some of Delilah's runners to meet you there if you want to go now. Call the runners, buddy. Coyote. I'm looking to see... I don't like the dick butt guy. He's a brute. Huh. Alright. Um, hmm. I've worked with her before. She's pretty good. But I want... As much... Let's go with Gallo Glass again. He's good. I like him. But... I'm trying... I don't want too many... Like trick guys like the decker he might help you know actually i what am i thinking yeah i really do need the decker because even though he's not much in a fucking fight actually this guy's stupid aries predator would probably be better than that dumb thing um he's really i don't know like maybe i'll need him you never know you get burned the one time you don't take someone, so we're going to take a different decker this time, because hypotenuse kind of blows, and um, that guy looks cool, so let's do that. Let's do this thing, man. We're going right over. Um, I don't have that much healing equipment left, though. Uh, Coyote's got some. I don't have any more res kits, so I'm going to have to be really careful. Really careful. All right, takes you nearly an hour for the taxi to make its way from the squalor of the Redmond Barrens across the bridge into Seattle, into the Seattle waterfront and the Universal Brotherhood. The building is a pre-crash brick job with a fancy new facade that supports neon highlights and an enormous set of glass double doors. Through the window, you can see the activity within. Smiling, happy disciples shuffling along in beige pajamas and slippers. The greeters stand outside the door, gently attempting to entice misbegotten and curious to enter and take their first baby steps towards Brotherhood. Pike Place Market is usually empty by now, but as you step out of the cads, you see the sounds of an excited crowd. I'm good, thanks. Alright. Here we go. What's going on here? Fucking dog and pony show. Let's go see what's going on with this security guy. Oh, let's talk to the dealer first. Wouldn't be a rock concert without a dealer. Although there are no police bar, he plays the part as if his performance was part of the experience. Megnerb, something stronger. When does the show start? It's gonna be ours. They just started setting up. The crowd's already forming. This is her town, though, so it's no surprise. Show me what you got, buddy. I really don't need those. I, I need, um... <laughs> hey, Romario Mercurio fan. Ben is apparently excited to be in the same city as the Rockstar. Hey, how you doing? Ben, can you get me in? I wish I could get in. They just announced this thing an, an hour ago, all spontaneous-like. And of course, by the time I got here, the tickets were already gone. Alright. Let's talk to the security guard, then. Help you? Can I get into the concert? It's not up to me. The counts was only enough. No, this I sold out. You work for him? Hmm. I don't like him. Um, I should have... See, I probably wouldn't help to give him money, but whatever. So there's this concert going on. Uh, seems too good to be true. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hey, buddy. Welcome, brother. I sure am. That's great news. 
Sounds good. I'm going to go right into there, into the Universal Brotherhood, and you know what I'm going to do? Shoot the fucking place up. Know ourselves. Is your message of solitude? Um, fucking fine. We'll go in by ourselves. Take the team and circle around the building. Look for another way in. Chirp you on the count link if we find one. Great. I'm on my own. <sighs> this day just gets better and better. 